Today I'll do the full review of the E-Spin uh, 21 Nesta. It's uh, one of the best bike I have with a fat tires, 20 inches, foldable and uh, full aluminum, which is uh, pretty light for this type of bike. So I want to give you more information what I like about this bike and what I don't like about this bike. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video. Thank you and uh, let's take a look close up so this bike have not only great color and design looks good uh, it comes with 750 motor very powerful motor up to 1000 watt peak and uh, really fat tires which is 4 inches uh, this one is 4 inches uh, tires and not only 4 inches tires but also the rim it's also 4 inches almost 4 inches so it's very wide it came with a both rack which is really great you can uh, have a lot of cargo space if you need to commute or go for the grocery shop it does give you a very good opportunity you don't have to buy any extra uh, rack already just a basket it comes with a strong battery 48 volt battery which uh, should last about up to 40 miles depending on your riding condition and your weight and of course depend how you ride the bicycle because this bicycle also come with five uh, pedal assist which is great so to turn the bicycle it's very simple just press the power button and you'll see the screen is actually very bright uh, it came first I saw this was very unclear but the problem was that this screen display comes with a double protection so there was two layers of protection I only remove one and then I just figured out yesterday that you have to remove two so I removed second one and I put my own protection film but you don't really have to so it's a very good uh, display in this display you can see uh, what uh, PS so it's a uh, what a uh, pedal assist you have it can go up to five so you're just switching plus over here if you want to downshift the pedal assist you just go one usually I use one or two and uh, on the bottom you'll see how many miles you rode also what the time you rode you can see as well you can also switch uh, by going pressing the power button you can switch uh, odometer readings and it will show you also POW it means uh, what uh, peak power on your motor while you're riding so it's a really show you how much power takes your motor so when I was climbing in the hills it was going about over 900 so it's very strong and uh, really helps you to go in different hills area mountains so if you live in San Francisco or any hill area one of the best bike um, some bikes would cost over two thousand dollars like this so this is a really underpriced bike it also comes with a front suspension which is adjustable you can uh, simply lock it in if you want to also you can adjust the spring if you need to but it's very soft and I didn't do any adjustment because it feels really good when you're traveling in a bumpy area so uh, it's very soft ride because of the frame step through which is really convenient so it's very easy to step through bike and it really helps it helps a lot for any age any male female doesn't matter step through it's much easier to ride the bike and also because of the design of the frame this bike become really stable while you're riding i compare other bike with uh, fat tires and handling of the bike was not as good as uh, Nesta so this bike really stable on the road probably for a few reasons because of the frame design 
the way it's fork as you can see the frame over here very long and also the angle of the fork and also it comes with one of the fattest tires for four inches which makes this bike even more stable on the road so if you're new to biking one of the best bike if you're buying bike with a smaller tires like I have it would not be as stable as this one even with a bigger tire sometimes it's not as stable as this bike that's a really something I like about this bike it's really stable and very good handling on the road maneuver really great it's going very fast up to 25 miles which is really fast even you think it's not but actually it is easy to lose control over 25 miles an hour in usa i think maximum speed uh, up to 20 miles allowed and you can um, class 3 you can change up to 28 miles this bike it's going up to 25 which is pretty much all you need most likely you can pedal even fast if you want to this bike have foldable not only frame also foldable bar and it's very easy you just uh, open this latch and fold it okay and this bike came with um, hydraulic brakes which is really good it breaks really quick and soft much better than mechanical one uh, the disc is 160 millimeters not 180 what stated before but i don't have any problem at all it breaks really quick i test it in the mountains and it stop on the dime it's really quick and nice and soft uh, by soft i mean you don't need to put very hard on the brake in order to stop it it's very soft so i have to take it in a shade because it's very hard and my camera got overheated so what i like about this uh, handle they are adjustable and not only you can completely adjust move the way you want to up and down so your hand will rest it also you can easily attach the mirror very simple you just insert it and tighten up it's uh, i have the video in description if you want to check it out so basically this bike have a future of a uh, front light okay so i'll turn it on the fight in order to turn the front light you just press plus then you'll see the light on the top uh, to turn it off you do the same way you press the plus sign to turn it off and it would be off and this bike also come with a usb charging port so you can charge your phone or connect your phone over here, or lights on the bottom over here not that everybody knows probably and how to turn it on very simple by pressing m the mode button over here and once you press you'll see a small light uh, over here this is a usb to turn it off you just press on the m on the mode to hold it for two seconds or one second and it will disappear completely so this bike have uh, many features as um, usb even over here which is really great you can put a phone ch to be charged or anything you want while you're riding the bike so you will never run out of uh, battery dead on your phone and uh, the suspension front suspension really soft as i said before uh, the seat is pretty comfortable but again um, if you like very soft seat maybe the seat need to be upgraded for me it's good so far it's uh, not a soft not the softest seat i had but it's pretty soft and i believe it's waterproof so it should be great the tires is really nice you can go all terrain uh in the grass or anywhere off-road it's handling really good i did put some slime in the tire so it will not get flat uh, okay and if you want to see the video about how to put slime in the tires i'll have this link in description as well i think this uh, says uh, rack can handle up to 18 kilo but i sit on this rack over 200 pounds the bike was just fine so it's really good quality this bike total weight about 65 pounds with the rack 
included sounds a lot hard to put in a trunk but if you compare it to other bikes it's very light actually because the battery itself weighs about seven pounds which uh, it's average for this type of battery it does come with nice derail which uh, can be adjusted and i think you need to adjust it when you start to ride the bicycle you might take to a regular bicycle shop to adjust it if you don't know how to do it i have not adjust my bike yet but i will try to do it later because every new bike needs to be adjustment on derail but also it comes with nice uh, foldable pedal aluminum okay and uh, this bike it's okay to ride in rain because it's made out of aluminum basically everything on this bike i checked i believe more than 90 percent made out of aluminum on this uh, fork most likely it's steel but this part is also aluminum and uh, even the completely wheel the, uh, everything made out of aluminum even this spoke made out of aluminum versus other bike made from steel so this bike actually more than 90 percent i would say aluminum and it came about 95 percent assembled which is very light and easy to assemble this bike uh, you just need to put a front tire handlebar it's very easy just bring it up and attach the rack and the light and make sure when you're attaching the front tire you need to have this washer inside between the bolt and the fork on both sides so the washer have to be between bolt and the fork on both sides okay that's very important to make sure your front wheel align correctly and that's about it about this bicycle it does have a tail light as i said before and when you press a brake the tail light will blink so it's good it comes with both mud guard you need to install it as well when it comes in a box just only front the rear rack and mud guards already installed on this bicycle when it's out of the box so it's very easy you can also put a bottle over here it's already have a bolt which you can attach the uh, bottle holders and uh, the bike looks great the handling of the bike is really good because uh, handlebar is 25 inches long you can attach phone over here if you want to or anything else if you need to because it's a real nice handlebar with a lot of space to put on and that's about it i really really like this bike and i recommend you to get one if you're looking for the fat tire bike which would be affordable reliable and easy to ride as uh, i have a lot of people contact me about some bike i reviewed before that is very hard to ride if you are new to it uh, and also the handling is not so good because the handlebar the wheel is moved to right to left and with this bike the handling is really great so if you are new to biking world this is great to start you can bike this bike as a regular bike to turn off the any pedal assist so it will just ride as a regular bike and it will not give you much resistance you can switch it comes with eight shift level which is great and you can just enjoy riding when your battery dead or if you don't want to use a battery just as a regular bike it can handle basically any road because it has a lot of power in it and also nice flat tires thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video